if they feel scared of the content they will not engage with and my entire objective for bio was they are like didi bio is very scary when i first came to the um, uh, fellowship i'm like bio is not scary it's fun it's learning it's mother that and i'm going to make it for you so that and how am i going and when i'm doing it with fun i'm also building confidence i think break i even though it is a task to break the content into simplest of uh, form i still love that thing uh, because i believe it makes learning accessible for everyone no matter your rigor one thing that i did i refer for example for bio i realized that students right now need a lot of visual aids so the powerpoint that i would be presenting would have a lot of gifs like i would not be using videos because i'm like video will have in one time it will be too much of information so i will just go to internet and research a lot of uh, you know relevant gifs for particular process so for example if i am uh, uh teaching uh, them a process of uh, excretory like uh excretory system i'm teaching them and the process of urine filtration so uh, sorry urine formation so the small minute is of uh, one process where it is happening and how it is happening i'll just paste one gif and i'll tell gif and i'll tell them watch it like observe it so in that way it's not a lot of rote learning is happening they are engaging with it they are observing and they are able to visualize that okay how is this process even happening i know that if i am going to ask a very high rigor question to a lower order student the student itself will be like i am never going to even raise hands so i first i have to make the student engage in the class and make him feel confident that you are also capable to answer so i ask targeted questions to students like i know your your order your rigor is this i'll ask you a simple lower order question so that you are able to answer that 